I am Dr. Sandra Rose Michael, and I've taught holistic health for over 45 years. And out of my research in applied integrated biophysics, I invented the true biosCalar fusion technology known as the Energy Enhancement System or the EE system. And it's, it's really developed for enhancing that light force and life force energy for the body. How the EE system came to be from my initial work uh, in 1978 with my scalar healing light chamber. So this was an evolution of really listening cell by cell. And so this was a, a big project as far as technology has been used in the past to disrupt, you know, as destructive detrimental fields have been used where the body is con in constant compensation uh, taking all this energy just to cope with a hostile environment as we've been living in electrosmog, but radiation uh, and EMF, ELF, and, and a total polluted environment of, you know, all the toxins in the air, the food, the water. And yet life force is so strong that we want to support that light force, life force energy, because as we can activate the light, at the core of the DNA. And as we then radiate light, nothing that is not of that light can affect us. To, to, to take that energy and create a total transmutation of energy into beneficial, into coherent, life force enhancing energy. That some of the side effects of scalar, it's, it moves at superluminal velocity, which means beyond the speed of light. You know, so yeah, that's part of what it does. It's a scalar vortex that creates coherence, which is a very, very important principle in that in there's, where there's coherence in the body, along with that superluminal velocity of movement, that's your cell signaling and, 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 and it's an enhancing an entire environment within us and around us. So we ended up putting the technology one of, one of our initial systems that we began doing more research with, besides with the Tesla Society, we did research with NASA, put a system in Houston, and they were studying the effects on the DNA and found that it was repairing all the breaks in the DNA, all the genetic damage and lengthening telomeres. Now, why is that important? Now, some of the research with the initial system was they found that there was a total neutralization or nullification of all detrimental fields, including radiation. You know, so now we're dealing with the ionizing radiation, like from Fukushima, but radiation basically, to understand it easily, unzips the DNA. You know, breaks those bonds, shortens the telomeres, creates accelerated aging, so to speak. But everybody knows radiation creates our cancers and things like that. And they found it was putting the DNA back and lengthening the telomeres. So that's true age reversal. But it's, it's just by giving the body the energy that it relates to, to heal anything and everything, because the power that made the body heals the body. So I've been working with how do you plug the body back into that cosmic light socket, universal unlimited power on, and how do you charge every cell of the body as quickly and easily as you recharge your cell phone? <laughs> it's like a whole body charger. Uh, wireless transmission, because, you know, scalar is a wireless transmission. And that release of charge gives all this energy that the body relates to as hyper healthy energy that it understands what to do with. And the body grabs the energy, gets excited. Literally, it's cellular excitation as it's activating the light within us. It started with research with the Tesla Society and the so John Orva was one of the top researchers from the Pentagon who was brought to meet me. And he came in with a $100,000 oscilloscope to measure fields and, and explain what he was seeing and what it meant. And he found that it was a total nullification or neutralization of the detrimental fields, creating coherence, but creating that true zero point energy where it was nullifying, but also releasing all this beneficial energy, a total transmutation of detrimental fields into beneficial. So another physicist I worked with, Panos Papas, found that what occurs in the body is actually cold fusion. So we're working with that natural energy that's in the body, although this is the real, um, you know, suppressed science, so to speak. This is not, you know, what you're gonna find in physics schools because 
this is the quantum physics. And he, so he explained how that works and what that means um, with that photonic fusion. And with, with fusion, there's a release of active hydrogen and active oxygen. So with that, you've got some of the cellular mechanisms of action being being created in that you've got your ultimate oxygen therapy, where it's releasing the active oxygen in the body to fully oxygenate the cells, to fully oxygenate the organs, and particularly to oxygenate the brain. Because part of what radiation does is ionizes the brain. So then you've got that reduction of IQs. So this is one of the first things it does, we found with the research, is that right-left brain synchronization, back to zero point, back to that energy, to put by basically back in homeostasis, in dynamic homeostasis, where it's that continual reorganization to higher levels of function, between the body, the brain, back in balance. And every part of the body wants to be in balance so it's giving the energy that reminds the body how to do that so there's a lot of things that got layered in it's dense intentional informational fields you've got the photonic aspect we're colliding photons you've got the scalar aspect which is very very important uh, but you know, there's uh, all the benefits of grounding, for example, that's putting the body back. There's a predominance of the Schumann residence because you need to be very grounded or what's called earthing. And you can look up that research, obviously, but that's the body's natural timing pulse. But when you're in that place of balance and alignment, then you're no longer at effect. In that place of balance, you're able to affect everything. So it's a very effective <laughs> technology in that that brings you to that place where you're no longer taking all your energy just to cope, but instead you have access to that power and light and love within you that allows you to affect everything around you. But you're breathing light, literally breathing light, photons, quantums of light through every cell and every part of you, letting every cell know and remember the power of that truth and the love, the light, the eternal light of eternal life that's within us.